All right, in this video, I'm going to be graphing three problems, and I'm actually doing a separate video where I showed the work leading up to this point. So you should make sure you watch that one first. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, so in that video, we used the x and y intercepts to graph this line. And uh, we got the point 0, negative 7, and the point 3, 0. So we want to click here to enlarge the graph. And then this is the, what we call a template for the line. See the two points and a line? It wants two points. Notice if I did a parabola, it would want two points. And so the picture indicates how many points it's looking for. So let's go ahead and click on the line. And so now I want to put my first point in 3, 0. Now be careful, this is going by twos. If you go from here to here, that's two and then four. Three would be right here. So three, zero, you want to click and notice that point is now there. And by the way, it shows you that you're at three, zero in the yellow there. And then we want to go to zero, negative seven. So I'm just dragging this line to zero, negative seven. See, this would be 0, negative 6, and you can see now in the yellow we're at 0, negative 7, so click. And so now you can see I've got the point at 3, 0, and 0, negative 7. So I'm going to save this. I'm going to check my answer, and you can see we're good. Let's go to number 11. So we actually learned three techniques for graphing lines. In the first one that I just did, we used the intercept method. We found two intercepts and used those two points. In uh, number 11, I'm actually going to use the technique of plotting points. Now I could solve for y and use the slope and the y-intercept, but that's what I'm going to do next. Here I just think I want to plot some points, and, and that's what we did in the other video. So we got 5, 0, the point 6, 1, and the point 7, 2. But again, when we put in the graph, we're only going to be putting in two of our points. And so you can see I'm moving the point around. I'm not pushing um, or left the left click yet. So 5, 0, that's right there. Oh, wait, no, that's not 5, 0. So there's 5, 0 right in the middle of 4 and 6 there. And then I need to go to 6, 1. So 6 and up 1. And again, you can see in the yellow that I'm at the point 6, 1 until you click on it. So we're going to save that. We're going to check our answer, and we're done. All right, let's go to number 12. So here we're going to be using the slope-intercept method. And this is the easiest technique when you have an equation solved for y, and it's a linear equation. So we're going to start at 0, 4. So again, click on the template, go to 0, 4, and click. And then notice the slope is 1 fourth. So we're going to rise 1 and run 4. Go 4 to the right, 1, 2, 3, 4. You can see the grid is really small here. Unfortunately, it's a little bit small, but you can also see the point in the yellow here. Well, actually, it's a little bit harder with this here. So you can see we did go up one. And notice from here, going to eight, it's four, five, six, seven, eight. So these little marks in here are going by one. So if we go up one and write four, we get to the next point. We could go up one and write four again, and we would get to another point. But again, we're only using two, so let's go ahead and save that and check our answer. And you can see that's, that's going to be it. All right, I hope that helps. Let me know if you have any more problems.